All right, so let's talk about the practical application of these laws. Uh, let's say I have uh, created a web crawler and I gathered 200 gigs of English web pages. What do these laws allow me to guess about the text that I've gathered? And specifically, I'm gathering text because I want to build a search engine. So what do I know, what can I guess about the index size using the laws that we just talked about? So <clears throat> I have two 200 gigs of English. Uh, this means I probably have about 20 billion uh, tokens, 20 billion total words in the data. So I'm assuming about 10 bytes per word on average. So uh, this, is, uh, this is giving some space for things like uh, spaces, punctuation, and all the other stuff that will occur in English. So assuming that I have about 20 billion words, what does Heap's Law tell me? Heap's Law tells me that I will probably have about 35 million distinct indexing terms. So that's going to be the size of my index for this crawl, 35 million entries, give or take. <clears throat> that's assuming I know the constants of my, assuming I fit them somehow. Right. So uh, what else do I know? From Zipf's law, I have some interesting observations. So for example, out of those 35 million distinct index entries, about half of them will have only one entry. Half the words occur once. That's the direct consequence of Zipf's law. So I know that half, 17 million entries will be singletons. And so what about the other end? So these are the rare terms. On the frequent side, the word the will probably have over 10 million uh, entries in 